The Torah spends no less than 449 psukim describing the construction of the Mishkan. All the hard work, the exquisite detail, the money, the efforts of the entire Jewish nation goes into the building of this tabernacle, of this structure, to welcome the Rebono Shalom, to have the Shekhinah rest amongst the Jewish people. And finally, at the end of this week's parsha, parsha Bukude, it's finished. They're ready. It's finally ready. It's here. They can go and offer a karbonos. They can offer the sacrifices. They can do the service, the avodah in the Mishkan. We would expect there to be an amazing party to inaugurate the use and the initiation of this tabernacle. And so when we get to the end of the parsha and Moshe approaches the Mishkan to go inside for the very first time, we might be a little surprised because the Torah tells us he cannot yet enter. Imagine the disappointment, the confusion. What's going on? Why is it that it's finally finished after all this hard work and it's not being used immediately? But if you continue in the Pasuk, and you understand why it's not yet being used, it was for a very good reason. The Torah tells us, Ki shachan alav ha'anan uchvod Hashem maleyas ha'mishkan. That he couldn't go in yet because the presence of Hashem Shechina was completely filling the entire edifice. There was no space for Moshe yet to enter this mishkan. And you might wonder, why is the Shechina there if it hasn't yet been put into use? All they've done is build the Mishkan, but they haven't actually used it yet. And so we see from here the incredible message that the Rebona Sholem was so excited, Kev He himself, so to speak, couldn't contain his own excitement to dwell with the Jewish people, that he was in the Mishkan, filling the entire building, even before it was brought into use. And this is a message that was not just true in the times of the Mishkan. It was true then, and it's true now in our shuls and in our homes. Hashem is so excited to enter into our lives and be a part of our lives. He is there waiting for us to come. It's up to us to take advantage of this opportunity and to engaging in that presence. Shabbat Shalom.